are you? Good, are you? Yeah, good, good, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Honored to meet you. What did you think when you got the call, Case? I mean, it's uh, it's a really special deal. Um, very, very honored. Um, and the, the class that we're in, it's it's, it's really cool. Um, and this is a pretty swanky place, too. I mean, uh, I have, I've been in here one time, but uh, to see it all decked out in Cougar Red, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, where would this rank on your all-time achievements list, I guess? You know, I don't know. It's it's up there at the top right now. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I think ask me again tomorrow after the event and I, you know, get to experience it all, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Okay. What's it mean to, you know, share it with some of your former teammates? You, yeah, good to see you. Yeah. You know, I know you have a lot of your former, you know, teammates here. What's that mean to, you know, be able to share this with your teammates, your family? Uh, it means everything. Um, to have my family here, uh, my family on the field here. I mean, I had so many special memories with those guys and uh, the fact that they're, you know, I'm probably be surprised at some of the guys who actually, you know, are here. So I'm looking forward to hugging some necks and catching up and you know, telling old stories. Case when Aaron Rodgers goes down, your name was one of the first ones to come up. So where at your house or <laughs> no? <laughs> National observer. <laughs> Any thoughts on that? Any contact with anybody? No, I mean I have no idea. We're you know we're getting ready to play the Colts. Uh, you know on Sunday we got our hands full there. So uh, no, I've, I've thought at all about that. You accomplished so many great things at UH. Now they're in the Big Twelve. We knew it might be a little tough stepping up a weight class, but they maybe had a wake up call last week. What do you think about the program right now? Yeah, I mean, I we're losing the bucket. I mean, it's on the wrong side of 288. There's no doubt. Um, but uh, yeah, you got to give your your hats off to Rice. I mean, they came out and hit the ground running, played hard from the beginning, played hard the whole game. I wasn't able to watch the first half. I, I got out of meetings. Uh, you know, we, we had night meetings, got out of meetings, saw the score. Watch U of H climb back into it and fight hard. I was proud of that. Uh, there was no give up. There was no quit for any of those guys. Um, and, yeah, I think a, a little wake-up call early in the season um, is, is huge. I mean, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's why you play every week. It's not played on paper. I know we have a, a pretty formal, formidable opponent coming in uh, with a pretty serious pedigree. But uh, I think the Cougs, you know, like a lot of, a lot of people here, you know, probably at their best when you're counting them out. So uh, keep counting them out. Uh, there's you know, a, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's, this, there's a story on campus when you take a tour um, as a prospective student about you touching the cougar paw um, in front of the fountains like after Cullen Hall where you touched the paw and I guess you tried to wish you good luck and there's a story about it. So what can you say just about the connection you've had with the university throughout these years and just these stories? Yeah, I've had a, I've had a lot of connections. And yeah, yeah. I definitely remember... Uh, being around campus quite a bit, it's it's changed a lot since I've been there. Um, but uh, yeah, I love I love U of H. I mean, even the third ward has changed around around the campus uh, since I've been there. The stadium's different. The facility's different. I know we have new stadiums coming in, new buildings. Dr. Couture has done such a great job. Uh, she's asked me to be a part of the board of visitors, which is really cool. So I get to be involved in not just athletics, U of H athletics, but uh, you know just what University of Houston is doing. Uh, around the city, uh, around the state, and around the country. So, I think it's it's uh, to have a tier one school in a Big Twelve, you know, a big time Power Five conference. It's what the city of Houston deserves. Um, you know, to watch the football, basketball team do well, then have the alumni, distinguished alumni from around, uh, you know, that live here in the city, that live around the world, to be able to be proud of their university in so many different ways. It's very special. Uh, how would you say? I guess the. UH uh, football program helped you at the NFL level? Uh, it set up everything for me. Um, the coaches that I had there uh, prepared me for what uh, what was to come, um, you know, in, in so many ways. I, mean, I could write a book, and I, I have written a book about it, so uh, go check it out. Dana said he, he still calls you Coach 